Today we're in Exodus chapter 22 and verses 5 through 8. Let's read them out here. If a man lets a field or vineyard be grazed bare and lets his animal loose so that it grazes in another man's field, he shall make restitution from the best of his own field and the best of his own vineyard. If a fire breaks out and spreads to thorn bushes so that the stacked grain or the standing grain or the field itself is consumed, he who started the fire shall surely make restitution. If a man gives his neighbor money or goods to keep from for him, and it is stolen from the man's house, if the thief is caught, he shall pay double. If the thief is not caught, then the owner of the house shall appear before the judges to determine whether he laid his hands on his neighbor's property. So I notice in verse 5 that if you are negligent enough to have your animals get off into somebody else's field, you then have to take care of that and you have to give from the very best of what you can give. Isn't that interesting? Uh, we have then these different cases. What we have here is this groupings usually of like three laws at once in many of these places we've noticed last chapter and this chapter too. Uh, they're putting groups of threes often, oftentimes, not everywhere. Here is the second case here in verse six. If a fire breaks out and spreads and so on, all the stuff is destroyed. He who started the fire makes restitution. He doesn't go to prison. He makes restitution. Okay, and then we have uh, verse 7. Uh, you have this case where something is stolen. Uh, and again, that's addressed. And if the thief is not caught, verse 8, uh, then they go to the judges, and the judges try to determine what really happened. So there you have kind of the, uh, the way this works out. A lot of what we talked about, really, you wanted to look at yesterday mornings of chapter 22, verses 1 to 4. If you look at that short presentation, we quoted from, uh, from Stuart here, who really had an interesting line to compare uh, the Hebrew plan uh, compared to modern plans. And the Hebrew plan just looks better all the time as we look at this today, different from what we have today. So again, there's a lot of incentives going on here. Don't do this. You'll have to do this. Uh, there's actually, it actually, crime actually doesn't pay in the Hebrew version of things. So anyway, we're looking at these laws as we carry right on through the book of Exodus. I hope you find this interesting and stimulate uh, your thought in terms of how good the God is, the God of the old, the so-called so vicious the God of the Old Testament, he's such a bad a bad person, going to burn everybody with fire and all that. And yet, what do we see here? We see that um, his laws, you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be guilty under any regime, modern regime or Hebrew regime, but it's just very interesting, the laws that have been given here to God's people. I, I like it. I like it. We'll see you tomorrow morning.